Hello, hello, and welcome to What is Crypto? I'm Matt, and this is Crypto. Today I'm going to be talking to you about meme coins, especially meme coins on Solana. Now, just quickly, a little bit about my channel here. I give to the point crypto information and education and talk all things crypto. I try to keep things short and sweet as time is money and money is more coins and tokens to fill up those bags. So if that sounds like a good one for you, then smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Cheers, legends. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I'm going to talk to you about meme coins now, especially Solana meme coins, as I'm seeing a rotation into Solana. Now, Solana has been the pick of the layer ones this cycle, undoubtedly, and Solana has a huge amount of meme coins being built on top of it. And I think that Solana meme coins have all just started to run again. If you have a look at meme coins on Banter Bubbles on the daily, you can see that meme coins are running. Now, especially meme coins that are on Solana, there are some outliers such as Normie on base, but a lot of the meme coins on Solana are really starting to rip. So I do think that meme coins on Solana have taken a massive hit and I think they are gonna do pretty well in the coming months. So first up, I'll start with the largest market cap. Now, Ponky is pretty funny. He is a degenerate gambling monkey. So you can check out their Twitter account. Uh, they've got 68,000 followers and they're followed by some big names in the space who regularly post about them, including Eric Stevens. They've also got big fans such as Crypto Banter, Doge, and multiple other big crypto influencers following them. What I really like about Ponky though is their Instagram account. So check out their Instagram account if you haven't. They've got hilarious videos on there and they've got 306,000 followers. They're probably the biggest new meme coin this cycle on Instagram and their Instagram marketing is impeccable. So they have been really ripping recently and they've currently got a market cap of around 140 million. Now this is one that I think could easily get into the billions of market cap. So I do think that there still is some room for growth with Ponky and I don't think that you are too late if you're jumping on that bandwagon. So next up we have Tuka. Now Tuka, love this meme, absolutely hilarious. It's a Tuka Carlson meme. Kyle Chasse is hugely bullish on it. He's one of the biggest KOLs or influencers in the space. It's got a market cap of $64 million. And if you check out their Twitter account, they regularly post news articles of Tucker Carlson that kind of keep you up to date, but it's quite satirical, very amusing. They all finish with the ticker is Tucker, pretty catchy, good little meme. I think it's gonna do really well. And I think because they are regularly making news articles that I think this one could stay relevant longer than a lot of other meme coins, which might get released, have a really hot, quick flash in the pan, a rocket up and then drop off to nothing. So yeah, I think Tucker is one that could do really well this cycle. And it's also one that I could see pushing up towards that billion dollar market cap over the next many months. But yeah, that's definitely one that I'm looking at short term, getting to all time highs over the next few weeks. Obviously not financial advice, do your own research, but I think Tuka is definitely one that you should have on your watch list. Alrighty, next down the list, we have Pelusi. Now this one is a lot more degenerate. Uh, very similar theme to Tuka. This is a meme on Nancy Pelosi. Now, if you're not familiar with Nancy Pelosi, pretty much she is a very well-known US politician who makes $179,000 a year. However, her net worth is around $120 million. So the math there just isn't really mathing. So pretty much the meme is on her crooked politics and how she is having her pockets lined with money or having policies passed that are very beneficial to herself. So yeah, having a net worth of 120 million when you're earning less than 200K a year isn't very, yeah, isn't very likely. If you look down here, Grant Cardone did a little talk about it and he's calculated that you'd have to work for 3,367 years to make that kind of money, which I mean, she does look moderately old, but no, uh, she's definitely not worked that long, so yeah. The meme is her being a bit of a crooked politician, which I think is pretty amusing. And also Carl Chassay, very bullish on it. And he's been in talks with the team and apparently they're gonna do a similar thing to Tuka. They're gonna do like media articles and constantly doing up-to-date stuff. So whether that's more politics based, I'm not too sure at this stage, but it wouldn't surprise me. And we also do have big catalysts coming up such as the US election. And I think that Pelosi is gonna be mentioned a lot more over the coming months. So yeah. Nancy Pelosi, uh, yeah, could be one to definitely keep on your watch list. Alrighty, now down the list of degeneracy. So, Peng, the chart looks absolutely atrocious, but 
we do have a little bit of life and it is the Solana penguin meme. People just bloody love penguins. So it's got a huge amount of following on Twitter and I think that it has bounced off this pretty key level. You can see we touched down there, went back up, Okay, and we've touched this level again. We also had a little bit of support there. So we've got a key support level here. I do think that Peng being the premier penguin on Solana, I do think there is a little bit of narrative there. And one of the awesome things about Peng is currently you've got a market cap of 22 million. And if you wanna go up to old all-time highs, you're looking at at least a 10X, so about an 11X. And if we do have another parabolic meme run, then I do think this is something that could break into new all-time highs. So yeah, Peng is another one to watch out for. Now, back to our final meme, the only one not on Solana, but Nyan meme coin. Now this is definitely the most degenerate and most risky of all of the plays. If you wanna look at Nyan meme coin, so if you look at Nyan meme coin, you can see that they are followed by Kyle Chasse and he did mention them again in their video. He said, I called this one a little bit too early, but I think if you give it a little bit more time that they could do fairly well. So I'm the first to admit that uh, Kyle Chasse is definitely better connected in this space than myself. Now he's got a pretty huge 204,000 followers on X and his YouTube is definitely one of the most alpha packed YouTubes in all of crypto. So I think that he is definitely someone that when he speaks, I listen, I don't blindly follow, but I do research. Now, Nyan meme coin, this is more one that I'm following based off his connections. It is one of the older meme coins. Now I do love that it was around in 2013. It's the original Nyan cat meme coin, the original Nyan one on Ethereum. It has a market cap of 1.8 million. It did pump up recently. However, it's came back down and after Kyle mentioned it in his video yesterday, we've had a little bit of life. Now, this next bit that I'm gonna say is pure speculation. So take this with a grain of salt. Definitely not saying this is the case. However, I wouldn't be absolutely shocked. And if this is the case, this is some pretty unreal alpha. So having a listen to in the game, I've been mentioning how Nyan Heroes, I think, could be the token launch slash game launch combo that sets off the gaming run. This launches in just a matter of five days. So Nyan Heroes, that is one of the bigger gaming projects which launches their token in five days. Now their ticker is Nyan, which is also the ticker for Nyan Meme Coin. Now I'm not saying that Nyan Meme Coin will be the token for Nyan Heroes as that is a big stretch. However, I do think that this could be a catalyst for Nyan Meme Coin. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was some form of connection between the two projects. They have in the past commented on each other's projects and Nyan Meme Coin is following Nyan Heroes. Now I'm definitely not trying to say that Nyan Meme Coin will be the token of the Nyan Heroes game, but I mean, and that is pure speculation. However, it's not that much of a stretch. That's the only one I'm talking about that's not on Solana, that is on Ethereum, has a very low market cap of around 1.8 million. Kyle Chalsey still says that he is bullish on it. He mentioned this five days or now four days before the token launch of Nine Heroes. He said, if you give it a bit more time, maybe it'll pay off. Not that much of a stretch, who knows? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, Legends. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you are buying any of the meme coins above or if I've missed any of the other meme coins that you think I should be taking a look at. Crypto is starting to rip. This could be one of the last opportunities to get in at a semi-attractive price point. So yeah, anyway, it doesn't have to be meme coins. Could be anything. I think crypto in general is bullish. But thank you, Legends. I've taken up enough of your time, so I'll let you have a good rest of your day, evening, or afternoon, and I will, as always, catch you in the next one.